A few years ago, not many people knew what a learning designer or instructional designer did. Now it seems like the hottest job on the block. But there is a very big difference between a learning design practitioner and a learning design leader. In this video, I outline both to help you see the pathway that this career can provide. Hi, Bianca Ravy here, currently straddling the role of practitioner and leader as CEO of APEDA, or as we say, pony, practitioner, and a unicorn leader. We came up with these terms internally as we work to perfect the winning project team. Each team needs a pony and a unicorn, so let's break it down. Oh, and stay tuned to the end for a special offer for all the ponies out there. Learning design practitioners are the superstars of doing the somewhat heavy lifting. They spend most of their time in the storyboards, curating, editing, redesigning, spotting content gaps, checking for consistency, and generally keeping on top of the creative process. In some cases, learning design practitioners will do the publishing in the learning management system, platform, or authoring tool, calling on the learning design leader for any technical support if needed. Practitioners also may become experts in a few technical solutions. For example, Law, one of our expert practitioners, is a whiz at RISE. All projects involving RISE involve Law to some degree. Her background was graphic design, and therefore RISE was the perfect tool for her to perfect in her role as learning design practitioner. Within a group of practitioners, you will find that they will all gravitate to becoming more proficient in one of the areas of learning design. Once someone has been in the LD game for about three to five years, they're generally ready to become a learning design leader if they want to. And here's why. Learning design leaders can be spotted due to their countless war stories involving clunky LMSs, tech trade-off soapboxes, crazy clients, unrealistic deadlines, team dramas, budget complaints, and that time they had to learn a new software overnight as a team member felt ill, but the client needed the work. Yes, the learning design leaders do as the name suggests. They lead project teams and or lead the course design, sometimes with the clients or sometimes per the brief. Leaders generally have a strong background in curriculum design or teaching, plus they have project management skills either learned or naturally. They can be like psychics. They can see the end product, the UX, the SX, because they have worked across so many LMSs, platforms, and tools. Leaders hold the vision, but also the high level technical expertise. They can tell you why one tool is better than another, what trade-offs you will face choosing them, and how to work around any problems. On top of this, they are brilliant at managing multidisciplinary teams. This means they can manage editors, graphic designers, screen talent, video production, motion graphic designers, and any educational technologists brought in to make things fancy with code. Learning design leaders will often be managing groups of LDs and multiple builds at once. In my first gig as a learning design leader, before I really knew that this was a job, I had a Kanban board with over 40 subjects across four degrees in production. It was hectic. But I learned a lot about how to get things finished and how to focus my very small team on what mattered most for each build. So what do you think of these definitions? Have you seen the roles fall like this in your organization? If you are a practitioner, do you aspire to be a leader? Please drop your comments below. Bonus, for everyone who is still watching, I would love to offer you a 25% discount for OPEDA's micro-credential for practitioners. Just head over to Opeta Learning and use this code at the checkout for any learning byte or the whole credential. For the leaders, yours is coming soon, so please register your interest by enrolling for free here. And check out this video for more detail on the role of learning designers. If you like this video and you want to hear more from me, please like and subscribe and share with other teachers you feel would resonate. And until next time, stay awesome.